Puppies, they are a popular gift for Christmas, but if you're going to get a new pet and you're going to be a new pet parent, there's a lot to navigate, especially at Christmas time. And to help pet parents navigate the holidays, we are joined by Dr. Kelly Gephardt with Happy Tales Veterinary Clinic, and she's answering your questions. That's right, you get to ask the questions. So you get to text them to us, and the number is going to be on the bottom of the screen for you throughout the segment. It's on the big screen at the moment, 336-379-5775. You can get your questions answered in real time and those questions are anonymous but you get them answered right on the spot all right let's go over the whole thing of lots of people are going to be bringing a pet home for the holidays for the first time let's go over some do's and don'ts for that right so bringing a new pet into the house and the family is one of the best things you can do and it just fills your heart with so much joy and happiness and it's it's just such a wonderful thing because you are committing. One thing that's important to remember is that you are committing for the lifelong of this pet. So before getting a pet for a holiday, that's one thing that's really important to remember to say, okay, I'm ready for this commitment for the lifetime of this pet. Um, it's such a wonderful thing to add. Unfortunately, at shelters after holidays like Christmas and Easter, there's a tremendous increase in relinquished animals because people realize, oh, this wasn't really the right thing to do. So really think about that before doing it. But once you make that jump and you add that furry critter to your family and it's the best thing ever, you got to remember, say, OK, do I have the time to commit to uh, accommodating or acclimating the pet to our household? Um, you know, you're going to take a couple weeks to spend that time with them to get them used to your schedule, um, establish their routines. You want to make sure to create a safe place for them, like make sure they're crate trained so that they know they have a safe place to go. Um, get those potty and reward treat schedules going, you know, eat potty reward. Those things are really important. Um, make sure everybody in the household is on board with the schedule and helping out with the pet. Um, getting, getting kids involved in the responsibility of caring for them is important as well. And something that's really important is getting on the schedule with your regular vet to get all those wellness vaccines and wellness care um, scheduled so you can get vaccines and deworming and make sure they're safe, happy and healthy in all the ways you can. Gotcha. Okay. So a lot of things to do. It's not just enough to bring home the pet, right? So mm -hmm, what about mm -hmm. if you already have a furry member of your family and you're going to have mm -hmm. like the human family members come over for Christmas or you're going to have some Christmas parties or things of that nature. What is the best way to help our pet be a good pet throughout that time? Yeah. Oh, such a good question. There are so many things to consider. One, and I think this is one of the most important things, is create a safe place for your pet. Maybe it's in your bedroom or in their crate or someplace away from the noise and the people coming in and out and that door opening and closing. Um, and those, you know, you have your snacks and your people treats and your friends love your pet so much and they wanna give them those, um, you know, a pig in a blanket kind of thing that's really high in fat and delicious. And then your dog ends up having vomiting and diarrhea two days later because they got too many treats. So one, create a safe place for your pet. Um, two, if you know family's coming into town and your pet has anxiety, maybe talk to your regular vet about getting some medication to help decrease that anxiety because it's such a big change in their schedule. Thunder shirts are a great option to help decrease anxiety. We use one on, on one of our dogs and it's a magic. I love it. <laughs> you can get them online. Um, also, because people are coming in and out and that door is going to be opening and kids are just, you know, they can't really always follow the rules of keeping the door shut and we see pets escape, right? So you make sure you have your tags up to date with contact information for you. If your pet is microchipped, make sure that information is up to date. And if they're not microchipped, talk to your regular vet because you could probably get that as an outpatient kind of really quick appointment. Um, another really important thing that a lot of people don't think about that we see a lot of toxicities is that um, medications. Ask your guests to make sure all their medications and purses are secured so that their pets, your pets don't get into them. Okay, gotcha. Um, some mm -hmm. quick things about um, holiday um, decorations and things. You don't want your, your cat or your dog to be dealing with any of those kinds of things. None of those things are safe. Yeah, you definitely have to be careful for sure. For instance, tinsel. Love it. It's beautiful. But we have a cat and we don't have, we don't use tinsel because tinsel is super attractive to cats to play with and they could ingest it. And then it creates a linear foreign body, a long stringy foreign body in their intestinal tract that can cause a lot of intestinal damage. Be careful with glass ornaments because those can break and dogs can chew on them and that can cause foreign bodies, cuts in the mouth and the intestinal tract. You can, you can use them. Just be very careful with them. Um, you would not believe how many pets we see 
chewing on Christmas lights, right? And that can cause cuts in the mouth, foreign bodies, um, so things like that. Okay. Oh, another thing is homemade ornaments. Oh, keep them out of reach of your pets because they're really high in salt. And um, we see a lot of pets every year with salt toxicity from homemade pet ornaments. So keep the, or homemade um, Christmas ornaments. So keep them out of reach of your pets. Right, it's like that salty dough stuff that you would have mm -hmm. used or whatever. You definitely don't want them chewing on that for sure. Okay, definitely. all right, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. We already have a whole bunch of questions in the queue. We'll be taking your questions next. Awesome.